What common pubertal changes appear in boys and girls? In the first 10 to 12 years of life, human babies grow in height and weight and become strong enough to protect themselves. But then, the priority changes and their normal growth slows down and their reproductive organs start to mature. The period of life when the body undergoes changes leading to reproductive maturity is called adolescence. The human body undergoes several changes during adolescence. These changes mark the onset of puberty. It occurs at the age of 13 to 14 years when physical and reproductive changes start in adolescence. Some pubertal changes are common to boys and girls. For example, the height of teenagers increases rapidly. Duct glands become more active. This increases the secretion of sweat and sebum. This, in turn, often results in oily, pimple-prone skin. Thick hair grows in armpits and the genital area. Thinner hair starts growing on arms, legs and chest of boys. Boys also start developing facial hair which later grows thick to form moustache and beard. The Adam's apple in boys enlarges, causing their voices to first crack and then become heavier and deeper. Along with other physical changes, sexual changes also occur in teenagers. In boys, the male reproductive organs mature. The size of the penis increases gradually and can become erect during sexual intercourse. The germ cells present inside the testes starts producing the male gametes or the sperms. Similarly, in girls, female reproductive organs mature. The ovaries start releasing female gametes or eggs as part of a monthly menstrual cycle commonly called periods. On reaching puberty, breast development starts in girls and mammary glands develop. The area surrounding the tip of breast called areola becomes darker. After pregnancy and childbirth, these mammary glands secrete milk for breastfeeding the baby. Adolescent changes take place gradually over many years and the effect differs from person to person. Sometimes teenagers may experience new emotions which might lead to depression or lead them into addictions. At such times, adolescents should talk to their parents or other elders who can guide and help them to safely go through these changes. Let's summarize what we've learned so far.